consolidated income statement. How do you prepare it? I have here a problem that we have from our previous video. So we, will, we have already computed the consolidated net income. We computed the profit attributable to the parent and the non-controlling interest income. So I think it would be a requirement for you to watch that one first before you go ahead and finish this video. Because we will be making the consolidated income statement. And for that, kailangan alam mo muna ano yung consolidated net income. Just a little background. Ito po ang problem natin. About Roger, a 75% owner of Shanks. Shanks on January 1, 2020, acquisition date. Tapos merong undervaluations and overvaluations, book value to fair value differences between inventory, building, and equipment. Inventory in our consolidated income statement will have an impact on cost of sales. Building and equipment will have an impact on depreciation. So, building and equipment, 5 years and 10 year life. Tapos, ang inventory naman natin na ibenta po, December 31, 2020. Within December 31, 2020. So, alam na. Inventory confirmed, may effect sa cost of sales. So, ito po yung financial statement na given in our past video. And we were required to, pre, ano, to compute for consolidated net income. So, you have here sales... 5 million, 1, 5, income from subsidiary, gross revenue, cost of sales, gross profit, operating expense, depreciation, and other expenses. So ito po, Roger and Shanks. Ang gagawin natin dito, we will be combining the two financial statements and presenting them as consolidated FS. So, here we go. In a past video, we computed consolidated net income. Profit attributable to parent and non-controlling interest. And we have determined that they are 955,000 consolidated net income. So when we prepare the income statement consolidated, dapat ang consolidated net income in our income statement would be of course equal to this one. Kasi kung hindi yan equal, meaning meron tayong mali somewhere. Okay? So let's go down to the steps on how do we go about with preparing the consolidated income statement. Step 1. Unang una, just like in our computation of consolidated net income, it is a must that we will eliminate income from subsidiary. For those na hindi pa nakanood ng previous video, do take note that this financial statement we're going to prepare does not involve intercompany transactions yet. So it is reserved for a later video. So step one, eliminate income from subsidiary. You have that here. Step two. Step 2 brings us back to amortization. So, we would, I'd like to emphasize again ang inventory po. Book value, five, uh, 500,000, 575, fair value. This is inventory as of January 1. So, this will have an impact on cost of sales kasi beginning inventory is understated. Do take note na ibenta siya during the year. So, it will be amortized for this year only, one year. And then, building naman, 1, 2, 1, 350 ang fair value. So, meron tayong understatement, 150. 5 years, so 30,000 ang amortization natin dyan. Ang magiging impact neto in our income statement is additional cost of sales, additional depreciation. And then, one last, also a depreciation on equipment is going to be affected by an overstatement in that amount of 100,000. Dito. So, 100,000 overstated equipment, that would also mean that the depreciation will be overstated by an amount divided by its useful life. So, 100,000 divided by 10, merong overstatement in amortization for depreciation of the equipment, 10,000. Itong tatlong to, ang gagawin lang natin dyan is we are going to include them in our computation for the consolidated income statement. So, here goes, cost of sales, dito ka. So, 3 to 800 plus 75. 30,000 depreciation ng building. 30,000, nandito ka. Added, kasi kulang po ang depreciation na na-record ni Shanks. And then, merong 10,000 sobra sa depreciation of Shanks, which is why you have a negative here. And do take note that depreciation in most in most financial statements is presented as one line item lang. So, I just separated the two in order to emphasize the difference in accounting for the depreciation expense between book value and fair value. 
Pero again, this is a condensed financial statement, not 100% in good form. That's step two. Step one, income from subsidiary, tanggalin. Step two, amortization of over and under valuations. You have them here. And then step three would be to complete the consolidated income statement like this. So this is your consolidated financial statement, consolidated income statement. The amounts affecting it are computed as follows. Sales, 5 million plus 1.5, you have 6 million 500 here. Uh, tanggalin si income from subsidiary, 153750 negative. And that would result to a zero income from subsidiary. All in all, the gross revenues would be 6 million 500. We will disregard this figure anymore kasi hindi na yan ang gagamitin natin. We will add pababa dito. So, cost of sales, 3 million 200 plus 800,000 plus 75,000. That is a total of 4,075,000. Again, 6,500,000, kunin natin gross revenue, minus natin si cost of sale, meron tayong gross profit of 2,425,000. From that point onwards, we will adjust for operating expenses. Depreciation, 500 plus 240 plus 30, you get 700,000. Equipment depreciation, 250 plus 60 minus 10, you have 300,000. And then other expenses, wala namang nagalaw dito, so we'll just add pay rent plus subsidiary. You have 400,000. So all in all, when I would compute everything, so let's start with 6,500. Ito po ang magiging result natin. So 6,500 minus 4,075,000. We get 2,425 confirmed to. And then from that amount, Minus natin si depreciation ng building, that is 770, minus 770. And then also have 300,000 for the depreciation of equipment, minus then. And lastly, you have your other expenses, 400,000. And that should be your consolidated net income. So 955,000, is this the correct amount that we had earlier? Your consolidated income statement does not stop there. Kasi po, we will have to disclose what amount of that income will go into non-controlling interest net income. And most importantly, what amount from that 955,000 conso will be going into the parents' retained earnings? or profit attributable to the parent, 903,750. To confirm these three figures, 955, 903,750, 51,250. Ito po sila, 955, 903,750, and 51,250. That's all there is for this quick bit of a video, guys. I'll see you again in the next video where we clarify the consolidation process. Bye!